What if the East African Federation became a country today? The federation would comprise the modern day countries of Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, South Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, making it a huge country. 312 million people would call the federation home, gaining it the title of the fourth biggest country in the world and the biggest country in Africa. And believe it or not, the EAF would also be the largest country in Africa by land area. Its capital would be Arusha, and its largest cities would be Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, and Kinshasa, while the official languages would be Swahili, English, and French. Although its economy would be relatively small, it would become much larger and more diverse, which would bring a whole host of economic benefits like foreign investment. All of this means a stronger country, right? Well, it's gotta get past some challenges first. The countries that make it up might disagree on decisions, be worried about losing their power, or feel they are not similar enough to the rest of the nation. These reasons and more could lead to the collapse of the Federation.